Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Let's see what you guys got going on today. Oh, okay. Garden at the gate popped out. Man holding a coin and deceit. Okay. Um very specific door to value is here as well as angel of strength storm warning y'all are always fucking complicated okay um cards flying out i don't want to take all of these because this is going to start telling the story a little too damn much but i'm already getting the gist of it um garden at the gate automatically uh for me strategy at the bottom of the deck which you don't see coming right Garden at the gate usually means like get out of the house. You've made your house your sanctuary. You know what I mean? Um, you're so into a routine and you're so not boxed in, but you're so protective of where you are. You know, that's your that's your home. Um, man holding a coin in deceit with storm warning, door to value, angel strength. Right now you're working on your money. Right now that is the strategy. The strategy is firm foundation for yourself and what you're trying to build for your life your life, your family's life. Um, who is this man holding a coin in deceit? There's someone possibly around you that you don't trust. Storm warning right behind it. So we're gonna put some tarot on this. I don't know who this new person, this feels, I don't know if this is old or new, but man holding a coin in deceit with storm warning is kind of telling something else. Could be why you're so protective of your energy. Ace of Cups is here, but Queen of Cups is in reverse. I don't know if you someone's a, someone has offered you love that you don't trust because Queen of Cups is in reverse. That is not being love of love. That's not accepting love. But you have an Ace of Cups right next to it. I don't want to say that whoever this is, you're becoming cold, but more so you're releasing love. And it could be because of the people that are coming around you. I mean, what the fuck? You got man holding a coin with deceit. I mean, at the end of the day, that's a direct message that whoever this is, you can't trust them. Storm warning right behind it. What is this? When it, okay. If this is somebody specific, because I was trying not to go into this not to go into the reading this way, but whoever this is, if this is somebody that makes you doubt your intuition, you should, it, it might be the right move to withhold love from this person because the high priestess is in reverse. It's like you can't think when they're around. A lot of manipulation. Um, but this is somebody that likes to be in third party situations. King of Pentacles with the emperor right next to it. Like somebody that's well established in their own. Um, so... I don't know if it's giving like throw money at people, you know, kind of scenario. You don't trust whoever this is at all. Um, maybe they're trying to buy you or something or, and you don't need it because you got door to value here with angel of strength. This is getting confusing. The sun is here. You only want to go towards the options that's making you happy. And right now it's yourself. It's yourself, um, especially with the Seven of Cups being here and the Nine of Wands, defending yourself against the options that are coming towards you to keep your own happiness, the sun. This could be someone from your past that is trying to communicate with you that would cause burdens in your life. The tower being here right next to Storm Warning, this is over. Whatever this is, it's over. Um, this is not somebody that you're either in communication with, or maybe this is, this feels like somebody that tried to come back like a blast from the past. Um, this is not someone you're showing love to at all. Okay. So that's why storm warning is here. It's like, I don't know if the scenario had time to like, it was space and time between you and this person. And now they pop back up. Um, but 
I don't know if you're afraid of using your intuition with this person or your intuition is usually blocked when this person comes around. Um, but your subconscious says no, hell no. Um, why are we here? What is this? It could be a situation where family is involved in this, some kind of way, shape, or form. This is someone that was given justice. Uh, you walking away or not being in contact with them was justice. Uh, they had to take accountability for themselves or you forced them to. But they wanna come back. Like they want you back, specific. Firm, uh, with the Ten of Pentacles being here, it's like this person doesn't need money, whoever this is. They have their own. But it's like they don't, they, there's only one of you. And they want you back. You don't want to go towards this. The moon is here, the devil, hell no. And the hermit again, the hermit mode. You're trying to stay, the garden at the gate, you're trying to stay into, in, inside of your protective bubble away from this type of energy. You don't want to be around it. Why is the high priestess in reverse? Oh, the queen of pentacles. It's almost like you're blocking the fact that you at one point may have felt like this was your counterpart because you come up as the queen of pentacles. They are the king of pentacles. Um, letting it go, releasing or blocking your intuitiveness when it comes to this person. Why? It's explaining who you are, but why? Because they lie. It's not so much that this could have been a false twin. I just think maybe you were confused of what twins mean. Doesn't mean that a twin flame connection is not a happy situation. I don't give a fuck who tells you it is, it's not. It is a night, a dark night of the soul situation. This person comes into your life to trigger unhealed traumas that you refuse to solve. After they're gone, you have that awakening where you start solving those traumas and you elevate. Whether that other person elevates is not your assignment. You are to elevate. They are to trigger the shadow side of yourself. That's why all of a sudden you, you're clouded. Your mind is clouded. You're not able to think straight. They're able to push boundaries that no one else could push with you. You're doing things that you, you questioning yourself. Why would I do that? You're, you're, you know damn well they're putting you in a third party situation, but yet you block it. Yet with the high priestess in reverse, you know what I mean? Yet you don't, you only want to see what you want to see when it comes to this person, right? Not that they were a false twin. They were your twin. It's just that they didn't elevate. The two of you elevate at the same time, that is one of the greatest things that could ever happen. But nine times out of 10, that's not what happens. It's you that elevates. Um, and it's, you never wanna go back to it because you know what going back to it means. It means going back to your shadow side that was once unhealed. You've healed this. So if this person is coming back, you have every right to not wanna to talk to them, not wanna be around it. Not, it's, it's almost like it just reminds you of a space and time where you were so vulnerable and easily manipulated and, and it, it triggers you. Um, but give yourself grace. Everyone goes through that, you know, like don't say, oh my God, I can't believe I was that stupid. I can't believe I, I, I dealt with it. Don't do that to yourself. We all go through that shit, you know, but that's the part of the elevation. No regrets. This person's trying to hide the fact that they're still the devil. That's why I said it's not your assignment to allow this person to elevate. You are supposed to elevate. They're going to trigger you regardless. The empath and the narc. It's gonna always trigger you. And then comes that soulmate connection. Soulmate connection is much easier. More laid back. You don't lose yourself. You feel like you've known this person. You know what I mean? Your intuition is on point. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's not a whole dark night in the soul situation if it doesn't work. You know, twin flame, shit, that's something else. That is something else. Um, 
But I don't know. I, I just I didn't mean to go into that whole tangent about twin flames. That's just my personal opinion when it comes to twin flame. You have your own. You know what I mean? Um, Queen of Swords, the Five of Wands. You know this person triggers you. <laughs> you know it. You become the Queen of Swords. Ready to cut through all of that bullshit. You don't want... There, there is not one heart in place. Not a cup in sight when it comes to you and dealing with this person. Now it's tunnel vision. Um... All you want is the truth. Why are you in front of me? What do you want? What do you need? Like you're not, you're not empathetic to this person at all because you know that this is all going to be an argument later. You know this is going to turn into some type of conflict. You're waiting for the conflict storm warning being here. I don't know who this blast from the past was, but they need to leave you alone. You've had some life changing situations going on, and and really for you the the trauma that you've healed is codependency and toxic addictions the devil being in the middle and that's in the present moment that's healed hermit mode being here of course you are okay being alone you know what i mean um at one point you may have felt like when it came to this particular person you couldn't be without them that's where that devil card comes in that's the addiction the codependency you feel like you just couldn't i would do anything to keep this person i'll you know i've, I've invested too much time with this person to walk away i will not lose you know that kind of mentality that shit ended for you a long time ago. Why the moon? The things that were uncovered, three of swords, two of pentacles, and a fool. The things that were uncovered. Like I said, do not downplay yourself or down yourself or talk down to yourself for the things that you were read willing to accept in this person. It happens to the best of us, okay? Yes, you knew there was a third party situation. Yes, you knew this was gonna to be too much fucking work to fix. Yes, you knew it too much has happened for us to go back, but yet you were still willing to stay, still take a chance, still hope for the best. You can't be mad at yourself for having hope, you know? Um, at the same time, this is what this person triggers in you. It triggers that time in your life where you did feel like you were too vulnerable around them. Why are we reflecting on this? Why are we reflecting on this? There's a lesson here. With the gate, garden at the gate, because it's staring at me, right? You could be two in your head when it comes to love. The kind of love you want, the Hierophant being here, King of Cups. There could be someone that is, I don't know if it's this person from your past. Well, we know, actually, we know it's this person from your past and wants another shot at it. But I don't know if there's someone else that is in the background that you don't know if you should give a chance to. Page of Swords man being right behind this, like you would need to learn more about this person, but the Hierophant right behind it. What is this little scenario here? Because this shit is all over the place right now. Who is this? Ace of Swords. Do you want love? Maybe that's the question. Do you want a high level commitment in your life? If someone was to come around, because I got the Four of Cups, what you don't see coming is the Four of Cups. Not being interested. Going very slowly towards it. <sighs> There's a new opportunity in truth when it comes to the Hierophant. In you. Maybe the way that you need love in your life has reshaped. It's changed. What you thought a high level commitment was before is different today. Um, and it's almost like you're learning different ways around it. Maybe you're not. Maybe what you once thought you used to want is not what you want anymore, and maybe it's shaking you to the core where you don't know what you want out of love anymore. I don't, do I want to be in a relationship? Do I want to be single? Do I want to just be friends with benefits where it's not so much responsibility on me? Do I want to be married or not? Do I want to be in a relationship and we don't have to necessarily get married? Like, it's so many what the fuck ifs here. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss myself. Um, 
And when it comes to that, just be still. Let things organically happen. Um, Cause I don't know, it's almost like uh, when it comes to being in a high level commitment with somebody, maybe when things get a little too routine-ish for you, you start to panic a little bit and wonder, is this what I want? You know, start picking at things with that person. I don't like this. I really don't like this about them. They get on my nerves and they do this. Is this really what I want? Like, are you having those moments? <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. Um, but not everybody's here to hurt you either. I hope you guys could follow me with this one. This is kind of like <laughs> your inner thoughts scenario here. Um, It's coming, it, it's, it's kind of like, mm. with this three of pentacles, the eight of swords in reverse, the empress is in reverse, and the queen of wands is here. You may have felt like people were conspiring against you in the past, but you're releasing this, especially coming up as queen of wands. You're working on everything. You're working on, you've left things behind. You're working hard on your money. Two of cups is still here, though. Certain loves you've walked away from. And you're not feeling sorry for yourself because you had to walk away from them. Is there someone up? Is there someone else here that's coming for the collective? Because it's almost like you know sometimes you'll get a phone call from the past to see if you've learned, but really that's not the point. It's someone new that's coming along, or someone from the past is standing in the way of someone new. What is going on here? This one's kind of all over the fucking place. Yes. You have someone that's not willing to move on from you, that's regretful about it, regretful about losing you, really. Um, needs to change a certain perception. Now they want to be all in to the situation. And then you have someone else here. Either way, you don't want to be with either one of these people. So being honest, I'm just gonna read it the way it's coming out. You don't want to be with either one of these people. I don't. I don't know. You got a king of wands, king of swords here. Just the, the options may just be bleak. Maybe the options aren't what you want. That's why you're at the garden or garden at the gate. You're just home. You're just in your own world, working on yourself. Cause it's like, what is this love shit all about? Like, it's getting kind of crazy. I don't know if you've given chances to people and they just disappoint. They're not really what you want. They have other people around. It's just not set up the way you want it to be. The lovers is in reverse. The ace of wands in the upright. The world is in reverse. Releasing this notion of the lovers. With the world being in reverse, though. It's like spirit is saying, mm -mm -mm. don't allow somebody to block your ability to love. I'm going to put this ace of wands in between that. Love is going to always come your way. You're the star. You're the star. As much as you try to block love, because you block it in this reading. As much as you try to block love, love comes your way anyway. Okay? Why the Nine of Wands? As you feel like everyone that's coming your way is unhealed. A lot of messy minds on the table. You're pretty clear and concise, but everyone else is like all over the fucking place. And you know what it is, too? You've already had that spiritual awakening. So for you, a lot of this is unattractive. You know what I mean? Like, you've got a couple of people here that just don't really know where they're going in life. Haven't really healed shit about themselves. You got one that likes to block your intuition, but you've learned and elevated from that. Now you're the queen of swords when it comes to this person. Clear and concise. And you've got others that are here that's just like, they're here, but... You're just not interested at all. Like, you don't really, you will leave all of these people out in the cold. You're just not interested. That's, I'm not gonna keep pushing. You're just not interested. Shit, it is what it is. Have patience with yourself is here. And fulfillment of wishes. Trapped in fear when it comes to, damn, conflict and defeat. But recognition and reward. You know what, it's one of those things, and I hate when people say that you can't have it all. 
You know, you can have the great job, but doesn't mean you have a great relationship. <laughs> or you have the great relationship, doesn't mean you're going to have that great job. Like, I hate to feel like that is, is what's happening, but it just feels like one is always doing better than the other. You know what I mean? So maybe doing great at work, maybe doing great at whatever it is you're creating for yourself. That's going great. But the love life, not doing that well. Fulfillment of wishes is here, though. So maybe that's the focus. Is just focus on your fulfillment of wishes, what you've been working on. Why trapped in fear with conflict and defeat? Destiny. Going back to Twin Flame. This became a whole Twin Flame freaking scenario. And I, twin Flames irritates my soul because, boy, Twin Flames are so complicated. But destiny being here, it's destined. You were destined to elevate. You were destined to run into this person. It was like one of those things that needed to be healed within you. And a lot of our trauma comes from childhood anyway. You know what I mean? Um, things that we learned as a kid, things that we saw as a child. So, there wasn't anyone to defeat. The point was you were supposed to elevate. So don't do that. Where you're bitter towards whoever this is. No, you let them wallow in that on their own. Your destiny is to move on into your fulfillment, fulfillment of wishes and recognition and reward. Have patience when it comes to that. You don't want anything to do with whatever this is. This is this person's energy, not yours. Okay? Foundation and achievements are here. Mental conflict, though. What is going on? Stop blocking yourself when it comes to things that you are deserving of. You deserve this. Don't block it. Why mental conflict? Intuition in the middle of it. Use your intuition. I want to just, like, stand in, thank you. Stand in your power. Like, you are good enough for anything that you want. This situation that happened is, it is what it is. You can't change the past. It's not going to help you to worry yourself about this. You have to move on and let it be what it is. Don't, don't sit in that energy anymore. The coulda, woulda, shoulda, and I wish I would've walked away. I wish I would've never met this person. I wish, I wish, I wish. You can't change shit like that. The only thing you can change is yourself and be strong and learn from it. Whether this person learns from it or not, not your business. Third eye here. Stay in this third eye and your intuition is leading you to your fulfillment of wishes, which is ultimately your destiny. When it comes to obstacles and challenges, stand your ground. You've gone through a transformation here. Death is here. Different belief. Everything is changing. Even your beliefs about love have changed. The way you look at love, who's love to you, all of these things have changed in you. Don't be afraid of it. Just kind of navigate your way through it, and it'll make sense eventually who you actually want to be with or if you want to be with anyone at all. You know? Um, keep hope. We said that. That's the whole point. When you were with this person from the past, you had a lot of hope. Don't let them take your capability of love and your capability of hoping on things. Don't let them take that away. They can't take that from you. Okay? But your financial materials, finan finances and materials are changing for you. <sighs> hope right behind it. We're new beginnings. Best way I could say this is it is time for you to focus on your money. It's time for you to focus on your new achievements. Job, business, whatever this is, this is the way to go. I'm not saying turn your back on love, but it's not going anywhere. So you can focus on the things that you need to focus on. What do we need to know when it comes to the things they need to focus on? This kind of went in like eight different directions, but it's going back to the same direction, which is focus on your firm foundation heartache and loss with victory and success is here although you've gone through this heartache and loss victory and success is right behind it remember you've elevated this twin whoever this was for you they elevated you you learned to how to heal that trauma from them um they don't have their hooks in you anymore so take your hooks out of them don't worry about what happened you can't change it you can't blame yourself you can't do any of that shit you just have to move on from it you put your heart back together. So they don't have the ability to stop you from loving others. You've already put your heart back together. Work with others when it comes to that. Patience and planning is here. The triumphant success. 
It's almost reiterating it three times. Sacrifice being here with wisdom. You've learned. You've learned. You've sacrificed enough of yourself. Now it's time to focus on what you're trying to build for yourself, okay? I'm going to end it here because this one was a little strange. Um, this was a little strange. This made it made it feel like, you know, it's... I don't want to tell you it's better to be on your own at this moment, but right now it's better to be on your own at this moment. You know, um, shit, you, you're doing fine on your own. Um, if love comes your way, though, I want to reiterate that. Don't close your heart. Um, your intuition is so strong that you can feel a person's intention. Trust that in yourself. Just don't not go towards it, but trust it in yourself. Not everybody's here to hurt you, but at the same time, when it comes to whoever this fool was at the bottom, nope, all right? Don't go towards that at all. Keep working on your business. Keep working on your foundation. Keep working on whatever this new opportunity is for you. It's going to do exactly what you want it to do and more than you ever thought it could do. And this is the focus. Right now, this is the time to focus on just that. You know what I mean? You've got a clear slate here. You don't have any distractions in front of you. It is time to focus on that. And love will come when it comes. You know what I mean? You don't really have to worry about that. You're lovable anyway. So love will come. You're wise enough. Stand in your power. The sacrifices that you've made are going to bring you the victory and success that you asked for. Just have patience and planning and use your intuition. Step out on a new beginning. It's going to work. New, with this mental conflict, though, don't doubt yourself. And don't down yourself for having hope in a situation that was hopeless, okay? Just know that you still have hope. That says a lot. It says that you've not given up on life, all right? All right, guys. I'm going to end it here. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you can follow that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.